Hey guys, welcome back to Life Elevated Trailers. Today we have an exciting arrival. This is the Allcom Elevation Series snowmobile trailer. We're gonna go through all the high, all the features, all the specs, highlight all the different things you'd want to know about it, so you can make an informed purchasing decision when you come out. It's a little bright out here, so I got the sunnies on, and then I have my headphones in because that's the microphone. We've tried a bunch. This is the best one. Um, so anyway, starting right here at the front. Since this has a 40,000 BTU furnace in it, we've got a 40 pound propane bottle mounted on the tongue here. A two by five mainframe boxed for you on the mainframe of this trailer. Comes standard with 16 inch on center walls, 16 inch on center roof, and a 24 inch on center floor framing. However, we upgrade the floor framing to 16 on center when we order these. You'll notice this front ramp has the quad ply flooring on it, which comes standard in this trailer. And then we added the caliber ski glide package, which gets you the grippy ski glides, the traction mats on your ramps, and then the smooth ski glides and the traction mats inside. The reason this is important is when you try to go up this ramp in the winter when there's snow and water and everything on this, if this is a smooth glide, you will fall. It's, you're going to wipe out. These you can walk on and they're really grippy so you don't end up falling. Um, move around the back of the trailer. I'll show you a little more about it. All right, so on the side here, you've got a really nice fold down step, all aluminum, RV door handle here, 36 inch RV door, upgraded to a 78 inch height so you can go in and out without whacking your head. And then it comes standard with load lights over your front ramp, rear ramp, and your man door. Um, we added this big slider window here to it. And then the fuel doors, really nice thing about these is they're also RV door. So you can lock them, latch them, and shut them. You don't have to fiddle with the key every time you want to open this uh, fuel door. Comes standard with twin 3,500 pound torsion axles with aluminum wheels. You've got a spread axle here. What that does is it makes the trailer track a lot better behind you as you're going down the, down the freeway. They feel more planted, a little more secure. We have a two-tone paint job on this with the chrome stripe in the middle silver color on the front with the charcoal on the back your elevation logos here um, really sharp looking trailer all right guys here we are around the back i already talked about this at the front but again the caliber grippy ski glides on the floor and then you can see the smooth ski glides inside the trailer here um, i've got a four seat turbo razor here loaded inside Obviously it fits no problem width wise. And we added three inches to this trailer so that you have enough rear ramp door height to load every stock side by side will fit in this trailer, no problem. Um, I'm gonna unload this side by side and then we'll unload the Patriot Boost we have in the front out of it. And we'll kind of walk through the interior and show you all the features there. All right, while we're back here, let's talk about the rear ramp door on this all aluminum trailer. Because it is all aluminum, it is light. I'm talking a one finger rear door. So pull it down on most doors. Once they've gotten to about here, they're taking off on you. You're really having to hold them. This, this door comes down super light. And again, like I said, it's a one finger rear door. So to lift this up, a lot of times people have felt really heavy rear doors on trailers. That is one finger. Super light, super high quality door with dual handles, aluminum pieces, right down to nylon squares on the door. So where your cam bar comes in and rests against the door, there's a barrier so it doesn't scratch and leave marks on your door. Simple, nice little details that Allcom does to make this trailer truly awesome and keeps it looking awesome into the future. Just a few other features I wanted to highlight while we're talking about this trailer. Some side-by-sides fuel on the driver's side, some fuel on the passenger side. So we put another fuel door in this trailer so that you can fuel your side-by-sides up without having to pull them out. And then that 40,000 BTU furnace comes with an access panel. Now, I know most people don't care about this, but when it comes to servicing your trailer, this access panel allows us to service your furnace without having to pull it out of the cabinet, which will save you a ton of time and money when the trailer's out of warranty, if you have anything that needs to be worked on. So really well thought out there. And then here's your plug on the front. And again, it has that adapter inside so that you can plug this in just to a regular extension cord. Little thing too, but really nice. Swing down jack. You don't have to wind it all the way up every time you want to use it. Really nice, high quality piece. Um, 
So yeah, we'll head inside and I'll show you some more features inside. All right, real quick, just to mention 82 inch height at this rear door, 85 inch interior height, 91 inches of width coming through. So anything that will fit through that door opening can obviously fit in here. Really nice padded benches that come way out in the trailer, give you a lot of room to sit down as you're changing. And then you have slide track in the floor with six rings in it that can be moved anywhere the length of the trailer to tie down whatever you need. If you come on inside, you'll see we added another window here in the back corner. Um, and then you have all your light switches for your rear door and your um, interior here at the back. And you also have them here by the front door as well. So you don't ever have to walk to one end or the other to turn your lights on or off. And then this trailer comes standard with a 110 package as well. So you have an outlet there in the back corner. You've got a GFI outlet up here in the front. Um, and then your plug for all that is on the front of the trailer as well. The Elevation Series comes with these hanger hooks right here in the center. You can see I've got my onesie hung there. Keeps it up off the floor. Nice thing about it in the center is that all your stuff's parked on the sides here and your gear can hang in the middle of the trailer and dry with, again, that 40,000 BTU furnace that comes standard in here. You have two enclosed cabinets here. And then in the middle, you have a storage area with a lip on it where you can store your radios, gloves, anything you want to put up here. And you have eight USB charging ports that we added to this trailer so that when you have heated gloves, heated goggles, um, avalanche backpacks that charge like the climb one, you can charge all your stuff in the trailer without having to take it inside. Um, I'll show you the furnace cabinet next. All right, this is your furnace cabinet. So you've got three ports coming straight out into the trailer. This thing heats up quick. Forgot to mention in the walls, you've got three quarter inch blue board insulation in the walls and roof. So this trailer is really insulated and it blows a ton of heat out of this furnace and it comes on quick. Right here, super nice. You've got your adapter, plug your trailer in so that you can plug it into just a regular extension cord if you don't have a 30 amp service at your house. Your battery here with the charger built in so then you plug the trailer in, it charges your battery just fine. Um, your fuse panels over here, we'll show you a picture of that in a second. All these are on gas shocks, soft close, soft open, super easy. Um, and then that furnace is also ducted down a duct here into this boot box. This boot box is a super nice piece, doubles it as a seat, and you can see you can fit one, two, three, four sets of boots inside this boot box, no problem. It vents out into the trailer through the vents here. And then you can obviously use it doubles as a nice seat. So everybody has a place to get dressed in this trailer. Um, beyond that, not a lot to talk about in here, but this trailer is awesome. It comes in at 2,480 pounds and it has a gross vehicle weight of 7,000 pounds. That means you could put 4,500 pounds of cargo in this trailer and it tows super light at again, 2,500 pounds. This is a 24 foot box with a five foot nose. So a 29 foot trailer overall, obviously all aluminum to get that weight rating um, on it. And if you give us a call here at Life Elevated Trailers, we can talk you through setting one of these up for you. Um, and obviously add the features because we've added a few options to this trailer, the things that we know matter to the sled community, but also so it can double as a trailer for the summer with your side-by-sides. We'll